Article 95, Section 5 of the Constitution empowers members of Parliament to call the House from recess and hold a special sitting into any contentious matter only if the matter to be deliberated upon is approved and endorsed by not less than 125 members. To this effect, these members have in a record one-week time managed to collect all the 125 signatures required plus seven more and went ahead to hand Speaker Rebecca Kadaga a petition calling for the special sitting within the splitted 21 days. Mandated number by constitution, by rules of procedure, 126 names, we already have them. But what we are enjoying now are the extra signings. You have just seen me having an MP signing right now on my fresh page. You let him also say openly that he wants to abrogate, abrogate the constitution. Then when we get that, we just pull off and we, we, we disband the parliament. We go back. The speaker leaves the vehicles, leaves everything. We go back and we, we goes military, like I mean he did. The speaker has no option under the constitution. She must summon members of parliament within 21 days. And there is no debate about that. Anyone who thinks otherwise is simply daydreaming. And for the man who says over his dead body, then it means we are about to see it. Whoever has any claim against him should start the collection process. While the president is threatening that we shall sit as parliament over his dead body, he's unfortunate. And his family should help him. Because for us, we don't care whether he chooses to commit suicide or not. That's his business. Now, we are going to sit. That's a fact. You know, every small stone we add increases the weight. So this one vote is meant to tell the world that we are determined to fight corruption. Determined when we are strong or even if we are still frail like you see me. Among some of the concerns the House will look into, if recalled, are the manner in which MPs have harshly been treated of late by the state, the language of the president where referred to legislators, separation of powers, and also to find out whether Parliament can still operate independently without pressure from the president. The Speaker will have no option but call Parliament next week. Because this is not a favor that anyone is seeking from the Speaker. If it was a favor, we would walk to our office and plead. The reason we are collecting signatures is because this is a matter of rule of law. So if M7 wants to prove to anyone that he's a law breaker, he's a dictatorship, an opportunity has been provided to the country. Our parliament is an independent institution and what is happening is within the mandate and the responsibility of parliament to respond accordingly. So there's no any other reason why anybody should intervene with the parliament. Surprisingly, Ethics Minister Father Simon Lokodo is in line with the House being recalled if those are pushing for it have followed the law. Though another team still from within the NRM, headed by Minister without portfolio in charge of mobilization, Richard Todwong, has declared its intentions to block the House from being recalled, saying those pushing for it are criminals and thus want to use Parliament as a hiding place from police. The members of parliament have a constitutional right to recall the house if only they can meet the requirements stipulated in the law and meet the satisfaction of the expectation of the speaker. If they have done it, wait to see. Our colleagues who have been looked for by police made statements in their own capacities regarding the death of Honorable Nebanda that require them to answer personally and not collectively as parliament. Therefore, it is unfair to collect signatures from members who were not party to their utterances. Now, Parliament, by being a member of Parliament, they are not granted immunity in making criminal associated statements. So the police is simply saying, on the statements you have made, simply come and make statements. Now, should you say Parliament now becomes a hiding place so that members of Parliament become completely immune? You can make statements against anybody and come ahead of parliament. According to parliament rules, once the speaker gets a petition to call the house with the list of the 125 signatures from members supporting the petition, she has to do so within 25 days. Though now there is a dilemma in the equation as members of the NRM head to Changkwanzi for a special retreat from the 11th to the 15th of this month, meaning that the house might drag on for another two or three weeks. 
Well, despite the fact that the members are being hesitant on revealing the list of those who have signed so far, they say they have gone beyond the number they required. Now we wait to see whether the Speaker will, according to the Constitution and Rules of Procedure of Parliament, call a special sitting before the 10th when the members will be going for a special retreat in Chiangkwanzi. Kitali Moses, Rabbi Television, Legal and Parliament.